Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norvell with the On Your Side forecast. All right, I just talked about Idaho in one spot, a moderate drought in central Idaho, and this is one of the reasons why that's there. Take a look at the Idaho snowpack. This is the percent of average, and so 100% would be right where we should be for this time of year with the snowpack. But look right here in the center part of the state. The Wood River Valley is only 67% of average, and that's factoring in to that national calculation on the drought monitor, which you can always check out online. Everybody that's in green is doing pretty good between 90 and 105. 110% of average. The Boise Basin, though, has gone from about, uh, I think we were close to 96 at one point, now down to 90% of average just because of the lack of moisture. Every day around this time of the year, if we don't get snow, it goes down about a half a point to a, a percentage point, and we're down to 97 below 100 here at Weezer Pay. Yet the Uwahi Basin is still 7% above average, doing well in the panhandle, doing well across extreme southern Idaho and the Snake Basin as well. So we'll keep you updated because there's not a lot of moisture coming in here in this long range forecast. We do have that chance of precipitation going up on Sunday, primarily in the evening around five or six o'clock. A cold front will come through and that could give us a rain shower coming in. But tomorrow I'm telling you is going to be gorgeous. Today felt so much warmer because of the lighter wind. Tomorrow light wind and 48. It's going to feel really nice. And even Sunday is not going to be that bad because it won't get nasty until the evening when the wind kicks in, the clouds come in at the chance for showers and the next week we could shoot up to near 60 degrees brief. So with the sunshine, you may think you want to wash the car tomorrow and it may be OK. I just have fair. The reason for that is, is that chance of that little bit of rain. That's all it takes to ruin a good car wash that may come on Sunday. I have fair on Monday because there's a slight chance for a snow flurry, but it either will be great on Monday to get your car washed or Tuesday. Put the wax on. You'll get the whole week because there's almost no precipitation coming in for all of next week as well. These few high clouds are just drifting off to the east and disappearing. The wider picture shows a few clouds here to the west which will give us a few high clouds tomorrow, but milder temperatures. And here's Sunday evening. That's when that cold front will come through with a chance for some precipitation. So tomorrow during the middle part of the day, look at this absolutely clear, no wind, beautiful. On Sunday now, the arrows represent the breeze picking up about midday and some cloud cover, some mountain snow showers. Here's our cold front right at five o'clock. It could get ready to push through actually closer to six o'clock. It will come through the Treasure Valley with wind gust up to 30 miles per hour possible. But during the day tomorrow, almost no wind. You see it in the afternoon staying primarily calm. But on Sunday, as that frontal system approaches, now we've got a gust of 30 miles per hour Sunday evening. So best day of the weekend looks like Saturday. And then on Sunday, it will be okay in the morning. My forecast for the McCall area is a little light snow, maybe an inch, maybe two. Nothing major. Here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Temperatures will be delightful. Highs near 50, mostly sunny. That light breeze will make it feel really nice outside. In most places, as I mentioned, in the mountains, everybody will be dry tomorrow with temperatures a little milder than today. Saturday, the better of the two weekend days, and Sunday's precipitation will only be in the evening. And by this time next week, we could be hitting 60, Roland. So after Sunday's oh, speed wow. bump, we're back up into the sunshine again. Yeah, well, March is right around the corner. I know. I mean, <laughs> it's, exactly. it's climbing fast. Yeah, it is. All right, thanks, Scott.